Last episode, we learned how we go about writing code for the computer to interpret. But after the computer interprets the program, how will we know what's happening and whether it is working or not? We do this by looking at the console. The console is a text interface within the computer that us programmers can use for our programs for a variety of uses. As we talked about IDEs in the previous video, today we're going to talk about using the console in an IDE. One of the main uses of the console is to output text from the program. This is usually done using a print statement. A print statement is a command that does exactly what it sounds like it does. It prints text to the console. The print statement, despite its simplicity, is one of the most important functions in programming and exists in some form in just about every programming language. The print statement is vital for viewing and interpreting the computer's output from a program. For instance, if you tell a computer to run a simple calculation, uh, for example, to determine what 4 plus 3 is, it will run the program internally. However, what is the purpose of having the computer run this program if you will not be able to tell what the result is? Instead of simply telling the computer to perform this calculation, instruct the computer to print the output of the program to the console, and upon the program's completion, 7 will appear on the console. It is important to note that the print statement varies depending on the programming language being used. For example, in Java, there are multiple versions of the print statement depending on whether or not you would like a line break after the printed text or not. Also, the general syntax of using a print statement and certain nuances of its function can change between languages. However, you can generally rely on it carrying out the same overall function, as it is a foundational statement for programming in general. All of its functionality makes the print statement, along with the console, a very useful developer tool. However, it is important to remember that that is all it is, a developer tool. The console is not really meant to be viewed by the end user of a program. It tends to be hidden away behind the scenes, and other methods of displaying information, such as displaying text on the screen, using graphics or images, are can used to convey information to the user instead. So while you can use the console to give yourself information about how the program is performing, don't try to implement it in the final product. Overall, remember to use the console to its fullest extent when writing and debugging your programs, as it is a great tool to use to tell how your program is performing behind the scenes. Next time, we will be diving into the many things that computers can do, and how to use a computer's functionality properly when writing a program. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, check out our last video to the left on how we write code, and check out the playlist linked to the right for the rest of the series. Thanks for watching.